Thank you. Uh, good morning. Thanks to the distinguished guests for their lovely remarks. Thanks to you for being here. I see old faces, new faces. It's good to see friends and new friends. I'm very happy to, uh, to be with you today. It's a very long marathon about innovation, as you know, we've we'll done to almost tonight. So please uh, stay with us as much as you can. Uh, we'll be fast as organizer, co organizers. We'll be talking about our services. EU Japan Technology Transfer Help Desk, and then the services of your access from Mathieu. Uh, many of you already know me or the help desk, but let me refresh you a little bit the memory or let me tell you something new if you don't know us. Uh, the EU Japan Technology Transfer Help Desk is a service um, of the EU Japan Center for Industrial Cooperation. It's a new initiative that we started in March 2016, so we are almost a startup, let's say. Yeah. Well, a little bit more than two years of uh, life, and I want to talk about many things, but I will, be try, I will try to be super quick. Um, I already told you we are one of the initiatives of the center. We have a, a separate website where you can find a lot of resources. Uh, we have your uh, email addresses if you're okay. I will be sending you, we will be sending you all the materials that we can so that you can uh, find the presentations and all the resources within the presentation. So this is the website, I don't know if you have time to take notes, otherwise you will see later. We have many things that we do. Uh, there is a section that say it's online, virtual, that is run by the website itself, and another one that is more human, uh, analog, that is run by myself. We have a technology database, I will show you in a second what it means. Uh, we have some enhanced search features for the technology that are available for licensing. We have a database of partner IT firms. IT stands for intellectual property. So we deal with the top IT firms in Tokyo and uh, also increasingly in Europe to provide IT related services and materials to the users. We have on a monthly basis webinars. We register podcasts. We have an online library where you can find reports, documents, presentations, etc. And we also have a new section uh, that is uh, related to request proposals. I will show you in a second. This is how the uh, homepage of the website looks like. If you don't know it, very easy. Here you can type something and try to make a search. Here you see the popular searches, security, nano alloy, etc. Here we have a section with the request for proposals, the, the way to show how the technology is to look like. If you are a university or research center, you can submit a technology. And here you have the possibility to ask the expert for ID. Uh, consulting services, and I will also tell you exactly what it means. Technologies look like this. You have an entity, in this case is the OIS, the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology, and here on the right you have the full list of technologies that universities uh, have uploaded. The difference between being on the website or going directly to the website, as you can imagine as a user, first you have a, a single place, a single repository where you can find all the information. And secondly, when I talk to the universities, they might have very big portfolios. So I just say, don't give me all the technologies that you have, just give me the best of the best. So ideally, here on the website, you will find uh, the best uh, options that have been selected directly by the technology transfer managers of the universities. And this is also in detail how the technology looks like. The benefit, again, for the users is that all the formats are the same, so it's kind of easy to at least uh, see where to find the information. Here, for example, you see the TRL, the technology readiness level, so you know that this technology has a certain kind of development. Here, in this case, the technology validating the lab. Um, here you have, as a, a person working for a university or research center that wants to submit a technology, you also have a tutorial, so it's a video, if you want to see how it looks like. You can just go on the website, it's absolutely free, no password requested. And you can you can view for a little bit more. This is an advanced search. With the advanced search in our provider database, you can see you can search for technologies by TRL from one to nine, where one is the more distant from the market, and nine is the closest to the market. And you can also filter by every technology area, so medicine, physics, mathematics, uh, biology, etc. You have three layers of results when you use the database. First, you have the our database, the provider database. You have the university databases that are linked to our database. I will show you in a second. The second layer is DEN, which is 
Then I was the face uh, of another initiative of the Commission, and to restore the Japanese um, database of technology from universities and research centers. Third layer, you have had documents for major patent offices on the planet, and it's a uh, database with more than 100 million patent documents. By patent documents, I mean patent applications and patents. These are the results look like. You have a quadrant with the our technologies from the other two databases, from WIPO, the World of uh, Intellectual Property Organization, you have the top most recent 100 technologies that have been patented or with a patent application pending, and here you have the, the database with the patent document. And so you can see from the numbers, it's kind of a major database. In this case, I searched for fiber, and there are 100, 1 billion 555 patent documents. Uh, this is how the our technologies look like. In a snapshot, you have the title, the area, the owner, the TRL, the availability, the kind of patent protection. Then you can click on detail and see more. This is the top 100 of the WIPO uh, patent database, and this is how the uh, major patent document database look like. So you also have some charts and graphs, and you can download those in PDFs. Here, uh, this for those that know about this uh, kind of activity, it's called uh, technology push because we have universities setting or licensing the technology. The opposite is the technology pull, and we do it with a request for proposal. So we talk with companies, and companies are interested in finding technologies, partnering with researchers, organizing uh, acceleration programs. In this case, I just posted a couple of initiatives that we have most recent with companies from Japan and from Europe. So if you're working for a company, you're interested in partnering with universities, research centers, please do come to me and let's talk and let's create uh, one of these RFPs in as little as what they is available. You can choose to be anonymous, you can decide to show the name of the company, it's really up to you. Uh, this is one of the latest collaborations we started with uh, Itsun, uh, the technology transfer company of the University. So in this case, here you can see that from the database, we can directly get the information in their own database and show here instantly on our database. So the benefit, as you can imagine, once again, for a user, is to have in one single place technologies that are coming from different databases. Uh, we do, as I told you, webinars uh, that you can find on our YouTube channels. All the documents are online. They are downloadable. We have PowerPoint presentations. We have webcasts that we report with scientists and technologists. We have a reportage once we attend events, fact sheets on IPR, and presentations and reports. Everything is downloadable from the website. Latest uh, news from October, we started the IPR support program with one of the top IT firms that is helping us out here in Tokyo. And uh, we provide a 30 minute consultation private with inventors, researchers, universities, companies, to let them know what are their rights about a PT, if they can register a patent application, if they have to go for a trademark or a copyright, etc. And this is also open to the EU side and the Japan side. Uh, we are present on social uh, media networks with uh, Twitter, so please do follow us, Facebook. And uh, coming up next, uh, we have we are about to publish a report, a survey of requests and demands from uh, European SMEs. And in November, please mark the calendar, November 30th, we will have an event on privacy and IP, intersection with uh, emerging technologies. And with that said, I'm done. Thank you for your patience. This is how to reach me. Uh, you can see my email here, my uh, the website, and this is where we are in Chile. Thanks so much again for the uh, attention and thank you. Thank you. Thank you.